Some scientists refer to this as the singularity. Professor? I call it transcendence. Transcendence stars Johnny Depp as a brilliant researcher who creates a computer that possesses feelings and collective intelligence. He becomes the target of extremists who oppose technological advancement and set out to kill him. Before they succeed, he and his wife upload his brain to a computer, preserving him forever. At the Los Angeles premiere, the Hollywood star said making the movie scared him. Infinitely more terrified. But, I mean, at the same time, we're all in this, uh, this deal together. And, and, and the quicker that people realize that, I think the better off we'll all be, you know. Co-star Morgan Freeman says the film bears an important message. I think the film in itself is a cautionary tale to that effect that, listen, if we're going to try and do this, we better tread very cautiously. Will's body is dying, but his mind is a pattern of electrical signals. The science fiction movie explores artificial intelligence and the concept of singularity, a hypothetical moment in time when computers will overtake human intelligence. Rebecca Hall stars as Depp's wife and fellow scientist. The moment that I googled anything about it, I realized that there was just a whole apocalypse coming that I have no idea about. According to the internet, which you must always believe, but uh, <laughs> it's a, it's I learned pretty much everything there is to learn about the singularity from scratch. I had no idea. It's evolution. This isn't evolution. It's an abomination. The directorial debut of Wally Feister, Chris Nolan's longtime cinematographer, who won an Oscar for his work on Inception, Transcendence has disappointed critics, who call it a movie about big ideas that has few original ones of its own. Others deplore the movie's uniformly bland and lifeless characters, including a sleepy performance by lead man Johnny Depp. Transcendence opens now in U.S. theaters. As we know it.